May you grant it to him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for Sister Kenelo, Lord God Almighty, celebrating her birthday. Father, we pray that you be with our sister. May you bless her abundantly. May whatever that she touches prosper as she will be traveling back tomorrow. Father God, may you take your home back safely on the wings of an eagle. Bless our time together as we look to you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have your Bibles with you, we go straight to the ministration of the word. Amen. In the book of John chapter 1. Verse 1 to 5, I am not done with my subject on the hour of silence, but God spoke to my heart that I have to squeeze two messages before I preach that message, the last part, so that you get to understand it. So we will be looking into something here this morning. How many love the message? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. John chapter 1, we read verse 1 to 5, and then we skip to verse 11 to 14, and we'll read Revelation 22. Praise the Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Verse 11, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of men, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. Revelation 22, we read verse 17. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. Amen. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is athirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Amen. And the prophet of God saying is in quote number one. In the message, the Laodicean Church end. Read this together with me attentively. But now he is standing in the midst of the church, talking about Christ. As he stands there revealing who he is in the last age, he calls himself the author of the creation of God. This is another creation. This has to do with the church. This is a special designation of himself. He is the creator of that church. The heavenly bridegroom created his own bride. And my title today will be The Heavenly Bridegroom Created His Own Bride. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Mighty God and eternal Heavenly Father, we have read what we believe to be your word. We know it is easy for every human being healthy to turn the pages of the Bible. But Lord God Almighty, it takes the Holy Spirit himself to turn the pages of our hearts. Lord, we are coming to that sacred time again where no man can enter, but you alone can do it for us. Here, Father God, I have prayed, I have studied, I have done what any man can do. I am reporting for duty this morning. May you give me favor before your people that, Father God, at the end of this service, the glory and the honor will come back to you. We give you the praise, we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may take your seats. Amen. Now, we have read the Bible in the book of John. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, notice, uh, in the beginning was not a church. In the beginning was not your favorite preacher. In the beginning was not even the miracles. But in the beginning was the Word. And Brother Brennan tells us in one message, he says uh, the Pentecost failed because they put the miracles ahead of the Word. Yeah. So, right. And he says every time you put the miracles ahead of the Word, it will produce error. Yeah. But if you put the Word in its place, then the demonstration will follow that Word. And as eagles today, we don't dig for miracles. Can I say that again? As eagles today, we don't dig for miracles. That's the work of the chickens. But we as eagles, we dig for the way. Where the carcass is, that's where the eagles will gather. 
That's why Brother Brennan says that the will of God will defeat Satan anytime, anywhere, under any condition. That's why it is important for the church to know the way. It is important for the church to be anchored in the way. And the prophet of God says in the message here, he, him, he says, God will raise his church by the way. And the Holy Spirit will teach the church the way. Not catechism or not the rules of the church, but the power of the way of the living God. The Holy Spirit will give that to the church. Did not our blessed Lord say, Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. That's the thing the Holy Spirit will teach. Now, the church of the living God will not be raised by creeds and dogmas. That's right. The church of the living God will not be raised by catechism and the rules of the church. But the church of the living God will be raised by the way. Because in the beginning was the way, and the way was with God and the word was God. So the word is a tool to raise the Omega Bride into the eternal day. Now the prophet says, stay with me, if the preacher preaches the word and that man receives it and believes it and acts upon it, Something has got to happen. That's right. If you are a sinner, you will have to be saved. Amen. If you are sick, you will have to be healed. Amen. Because God promised it if we are certain of God. Amen. Oh, I love this quotation. Amen. That when a preacher stands behind the pulpit yes. and preaches the word, Amen. not his ideas, Amen. not politics, Amen. not information, Amen. not traditionalism, Amen. but when he begins to preach, the word and the people that hears that word act upon that word there's no two ways about it something must take place hallelujah glory to his name that is why it was my vow to god when i started ministering 15 16 years ago that no matter how disappointed i am no matter how the politics are around me when i come behind the pulpit i want to come with the way and stay with the way God's life and his God's power. The way heals the sin. The way will say the rest sinner like you and me. The way will supply all our needs. But you will believe in the one that is preaching the way. Let me say that again. You have to believe in the one that is preaching the way. Then the prophet of God says, But I know this. You've got to have confidence. In the man you are dealing with. That's right. Or it won't do you any good to any dealing. That's true. You have got to believe your pastor. That's right. That is a good God saved man. Yeah. Preaching the gospel. Yeah. Stand behind him. Yeah. With everything you've got. Yeah. If he isn't go somewhere. That's right. Where they do it. That's, That's right. right. Now, that he is yeah. up for both sides. Now remember if. If he preaches the gospel, stay with him. Help him. Because he is a man sent from God, ordained of God to feed your soul. Amen. So the first thing that you need to believe is to believe in the man you're dealing with. You must have confidence in your pastor. And I want to say, not worship your pastor. Not make an idol out of your pastor. Is that right? So if you don't have confidence in him, he can be a blessing yes, to you. Yes, Is that right? Yes, That's what right. Brother Brennan says here. Yes, that if you don't have confidence in him, go somewhere yes, else. Yes, Praise yes, the name yes, of the Lord. Yes, Amen. Amen. But notice, you don't just stay with any pastor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me make that clear. Amen. You stay with the one that stays with the way. The way. Yeah. In the message of Christ, the mystery of God, Brother Brennan says, stay with your pastor. Yes. He's ordained of God yes. to see you through. Amen. But in another message, he says, if that pastor lives the way, leave the man. Praise the name of the living God. I will preach it on both yes. sides. Like brother, brother Doc Smith said, we have to have a balance. Praise the name. So you stay with the one that stays with the one. So if the man leaves the way, bring legalism and traditionalism and information, leave the man. And let me preach myself out of the position. The day I start preaching politics, the day I start preaching nonsensical things, you can go. But as long as I stay with the word, you can stay 
optics yeah. to invite us to a great barrister to see before God was God. Yeah. Then the Apostle Paul says in Colossians 1 16, for by him were all things created yeah. that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him the 17 and he is before all things and by him all things consist so he started with creation as i said on wednesday night then he started with the invisible creation that's right and in the invisible creation, he created angels in their categories. Yeah. He created angels with six wings and those with the seraphims. Yeah. Two wings, the cherubims. And then he became God. Because the angels were worshipping him 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. He became God through worship. Yeah. Because the word God is an object of worship. Yeah. That is why you can make anything a God. Yeah. You can make your church a God, you can make your pastor a God, you can make your wife a God, you can make your job a God, but not anything can be made Elohim. Yeah. Yeah. Because Elohim is a self-existing one. Yeah. But furthermore, he has a desire to be known beyond being God. Because in him, he was pregnant. Yes. With abilities, he was pregnant with attributes. Yes. And when the Bible says that the logos came out of him, yes. but the logos was not the second person, yes. the logos was the very person. Yes. And I want you to understand that the logos had a part, mm. and that part was feminine, yes. and that part was called the bride. Yes. Amen. Amen. So the logos was pregnant with attributes. Attributes of him being a healer, a deliverer, a judge, savior, redeemer, father. You all know these things. For these attributes now to be made known, and listen to this attentively. For these attributes that were locked up in him to be made known, what was in perfection had to undergo some alteration. That's right. <laughs> now, 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 now. What was in perfection had to undergo some alterations. Yes. So you must understand that perfection cannot be altered. Yes. Or contaminated. Yes. So there had to be a need to create something outside of perfection. That's yes. right. In order to bring the program to pass. Yes. And that's where time came in. Yes. And you hear the prophet of God says in the message perfection. He says, Time is this little loop. Yes. It loops down. Jesus was from eternity to eternity, but he stepped into the time space and was made flesh and and came through here in order to sanctify or put a streak of blood across this place to redeem it and connect it back with God again for all eternity. You see, that's all time is now. Brother Bennett says now, time is a loop. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Now, I went and made a research. According to computer science, I did computer science one time. When you are writing a program, mm -hmm. and after the program is done, the computer scientist takes the program that she wrote to the critics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one of the critics may ask, what if this under, uh, under certain circumstances, this program, something goes wrong or something happens? The computer scientist does not condemn the whole program. So when the scientist that he created a loop, yeah. he created a branch out of the original program yeah. to take care of that circumstance yeah. and create a loop back to the original program. Glory yeah. to God. So since perfection cannot be altered or contaminated, yeah. there had to be a need to create something out of perfection, yeah. which is called time, yeah. which is called a loop. In another message, brother, it is a little block. That's right. A little chip Amen. out of eternity yes. called time. Amen. And when the problem has run into its entire course, then perfection will resume again. Amen. So we will have perfection at the beginning. We will have perfection at the end. That's, right. That's why he is called the Alpha and the Omega. Amen. And the remaining one message says he is not everything in between. Yes. Amen. Now, let, let's put it again on a timeline. Amen. When we put it on a timeline, the prophet of God says, stay with me, Amen. that eternity is represented by a cycle. Amen. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. But now we say that he 
Perfection cannot be altered or contaminated. Amen. So what God had to do was to create a loop, yeah. a branch out of the original program. That's Amen. right. Is that right? A loop. What is that loop? That loop was a loop called time. Amen. A branch out of the original program, which is now called time. And in the time, then he came down. To bring men out of eternity into a space called time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And let me say to you, now, in eternity, we were there as attributes. That's right. Amen. You don't remember it. Amen. Is that right? Amen. The, the prophet of God says, then the first man that was created was Adam. Yeah. Yes. And we, somewhere here, we had a conference. Yeah. 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 You don't remember it, but let me remember it. Like this, that you are three kinds of believers. Yeah. Yeah. 
Brother Ben himself says that in every assembly there's three kinds of believers. There's the believer, there's the make believer, there is the unbeliever. Amen. But before you pinpoint others, you yourself, you are three kinds of believers. Your body is an unbeliever. Your spirit is a make believer. Your soul is the believer. That's why this unbeliever, this one, doesn't want to come to church on Wednesdays. My demons are quieting him down now. This one does not come, want to come to church. This one doesn't want to pray. Then the make believer is controlled by circumstances. When you've got money, you are happy. When you don't have money, you are sad. But there is a believer on the inside. That is not controlled by money. That is not controlled by circumstances. That is why it is important to feed the believer. And because when the believer is fed, he will take care of the spirit. And he will take care of the body. The body will come under subjection. And the body is on the inside. So in order to be known beyond being God, he had to release all the attributes locked within him. So, for him to be a savior, something must be lost. And nothing can be lost in perfect eternity. For him to be a healer, something must be sick. Nothing can be sick in that perfection. For him to be a redeemer, something must be out of position. And nothing can be out of position in perfection. So, for him to be a deliverer, something must be in captivity. And nothing can be held captive in eternity. So, this attribute had to be displayed. Yeah. They must be displayed. Yes. The reason is that God don't just want worshippers. Yeah. But God wants worshippers with a sense of appreciation. Yes. 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 Let me say that again. Yes. Why is it that did God want to release all the attributes? It is because he didn't want just worshippers. But he wants worshippers with a sense yeah. of appreciation. Yeah. Notice, brother Sonny, the angels were worshipping him 24-7. Yeah. Saying, holy, holy unto the Lord. But God was not happy with the worship of angels. God wanted worshipers with the sense of appreciation. God wanted worshipers that can relate to him as Jehovah Rapha. God wanted worshipers that can relate to him as Jehovah Tyra. God wanted worshipers that can relate to him as the lily of the veil. The bride and morning sun. The king of kings. Anybody that is 
still formal and starting in this message, they are still message Baptists. Amen. Yeah. 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 Do you really like it? Let me say that again. Yeah. Yeah. If you are still called formal and statue, message Baptist. Yeah. 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 One time was in a meeting and they started singing some snappy songs. Yeah. And one sister started dancing around the church. Yeah. As she was dancing, she was in her own atmosphere. Yeah. And Brother Ben says, in my heart. I criticize right. that sister yeah. for dancing. Yeah. And while he was criticizing that sister, the angel of the Lord came yeah. Yeah. and said, Really? That is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 And the, the, the prophet of God went back to his church yeah. and they were singing a song yeah. that's going to be a meeting in the air. Yeah. And the says, I was the first one dancing on the platform. The prophet of God says, that's what I think about the whole of this old called formal churches. A nest full of rotten eggs. You can hug them, squeeze them around. They haven't been in contact with the Holy Spirit and born again. Hey, that is too deep. You get a nest full of rotten eggs. They don't believe nor nothing else. Might as well just dump it out and start the nest all over again. That's right. Get people who's born again and know what they're talking about. No matter if he's a deacon, a preacher, whatever he is. Let's refuse to be a part of a nest of a nest full of rotten eggs. According to this quotation, the problem we have dead churches around. It is because they have never come into contact with the germ of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have never come in contact with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Once you are in contact with the germ of life, it does not matter whether you are a deacon, brother Jethro. It doesn't matter whether you are a pastor, whether you are an elder, whether you are a lay member. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You see, one qualification of an elder is that you must be a worshiper. Yeah. Because the 24 elders bow down and worship. If you come to church and just see elders folding their legs and putting their spectacles over here, wanting to make us feel that there's something. We are only here to make us feel something. We are here to worship.
seated next to the wrong person. There are some church, there are some chairs here in front. They are still empty. Don't sit next to the king of England. Oh, 
in the sense of appreciation. If you notice in Revelation 5, when the mystery of redemption unfolds, when John got confirmation from the area about the seven seal book of redemption, the elder said to John, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed. Oh, brother Sonny, it created such a revival, it created such a joy until the Lamentis a jubilee erupted in heaven. All things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, had John worshiping. Was you and me. Yeah. Hey. And John was a shadow. We are the reality. Hey, Amen. Hey. John was a prophecy. Hey. We are the fulfillment of the prophecy. When John worshipped oh. everything in heaven, yeah. oh. everything on earth kept still. Yeah. Hey. Even the hell was shut up. Oh.
son. The story of redemption unfolds. Genesis 1 26. And God said, Let us make men in our own image. After our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and Amen. over everything that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27 So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he there. So in verse 26, God says, Let us make man yeah. in our image, yeah. after our likeness. Yeah. That is why, if you want to know how God looks like, look at his image. Yeah. Because the image is in his form. That's why when Moses wanted to see God, God said to Moses, God stand by the rock. And Moses saw the back part of a man. Because man is in the image of God. And in 1963, God showed us his face. The face of God was like the face of a man. Why? Because man looks like God. And God looks like man. Let us make man in our own image. After our likeness. Come on. Thank you, Lord. And the image of God. Sister talent is male and female. Amen. When God does everything, makes masculine and feminine. Amen. The heaven is masculine. The earth is feminine. Amen. Michael, the archangel, is masculine. Lucifer, the co-pastor, feminine. Amen. The Old Testament is masculine. The New Testament is feminine. Amen. The sun in the natural, the S-U-N, is masculine. Yes. Then the moon is feminine. Yes. But the emphasis is that man is in the image of God. So if God is omnipotent, Come on now. if God is omnipotent, Come on now. then man must be omnipotent. Because deity is following heaven. Deity is reciting in the name. Then the prophet of God says, on, But God specially upon Adam, Breath, the breath of life, eternal life, and he became an eternal person with yes, God. Lord. He had power like God. He was an amateur God. He was a God of the earth. Not even, not God of the heaven now, but he was a God of the earth. Amen. Amen. God was the God of the universe. Yeah. But Adam, his son, was the God of the earth. Amen. When Adam was working in the garden of Eden, omnipotent, Amen. that hidden glory yes. was working in the garden of Eden. Yes. Amen. What Adam said, that was fine. Yeah. Adam was not operating from a science civilization. Yeah. Yes, but Adam was operating from a faith civilization. Come on, Amen. 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 Adam, when he wanted to shift that tree, he would just say, tree, move a little bit this yes, side. And, and the shift will say, Amen. Amen. A river or an ocean, he never needed a boat. That's right. The water will just part ways or gather more gravity underneath and suspend more than one walking. Yeah. Amen. 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 Somebody says that is that is not possible. God in the Old Testament, He gave you a Moses. Yeah. And what did Moses do with the water? Part of the water. Yeah. And He gave you a Peter in the New Testament. What did Peter do? Oh, the water. Oh, water. Amen. Those were the sons of Adam. God gave us a foretaste. Yeah. Yeah. And God in the garden was in partnership with the man. Yeah. As I said on Wednesday night, he was in symbiotic relationship. Yeah. In biological terms, but in surgical terms, we say he was having a, a symbiotic omnipotence. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. A relationship that is interdependent. Yeah. Oh my God. Let me leave it for another day. So God created the animals and bring them to a discernment line. Yeah. That's right, God. Amen. And, That's Adam, right. and God says, Adam, yes. I want you to give these animals Hallelujah. names. Yeah. yeah. And whatever that you say, that's fine. Yeah. So God came to church to amen the way of his And Adam will say, You are a lion. And God will say, Praise God, Adam, that's a lion. But Adam having that power and dominion, he was still lonely. Yeah. Amen. He saw all the animals in the garden walking two by two. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Elephant, Mr. and Mrs. Lion, Mr. and Mrs. Giraffe. Yes, sir. Then Adam said, But where is my yeah. 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 yeah? Like a young man, he can have a pastor, he can have all the messages yeah. on the table. Yeah. You can have everything. 
but you still want the wife. And all the all the unmarried brothers say, Hey! Hey! No, no! And when you marry, marry right. That's right. I say when you marry, marry right. Amen. Nothing but the truth. Don't bring a just a baby. Yeah. Come on, brother. And say, no, pastor. Maybe he's a seed. <laughs> you will have hell here on earth. Yeah. Amen. That's right. If you bring somebody from ZCC, ask the pastor of ZCC to marry him. Yeah. That's right, Pastor. We'll meet you yeah. on the other end of the church. Yes. <laughs> Nothing but the truth. Amen. Oh, no. Hey. Ah, that's a subject for another day. But I will preach because I'm a pastor. Preach it, Pastor. So I don't is saying, but where is my heart? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm seeing everything in the garden is two by two. Amen. But little did Adam know Amen. that his heart was in him. Amen. Let me tell you, church, Sister Sharon, what you are looking for is not in Jefferson Amen. What you are looking for is not in Tucson. What you are looking for is not in Palapan. What you are looking for is in Sunday. To fall upon Adam. Yeah. So he's taking Adam into anesthetic. Yeah. Come on now. Sleep. Operation. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh inside thereof. Verse 22. And the rib which the Lord God had formed, taken from man, made he a woman yeah. and brought her unto the man. What was God doing? He was doing he was doing a Sicilian section. Yeah. Come on now. He took Adam to theater, put him on an anesthetic, Come on and now. operated him on the side. Amen. And the name of the operation was called a Sicilian operation. Yeah. Come on now. A C-section. Yeah. Amen. But notice, God did not use outside material. Yeah. God yeah. used existing material yeah. to make Adam a bride. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Because if God would have used outside material, brother Ezra, then the Adam would deny yeah. when that woman falls. Yeah. 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 Come on now. Is it right? Amen. Why now did God hold glory to his name? Why was the bride inside of the man? Because God wanted to express himself in the end time. Yeah. Because the bride all the time is a mystery. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. The bride is always a mystery. Yeah. Yes. Like Sister Francina, you were taking my notes yesterday. Everybody knows the groom. Amen. Mm. Yeah. The bride is a silver mystery. Yeah. 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 Come on now. And what was the reason that God put Adam to a deep sleep? The reason is in a threefold way. Amen. Amen. Three reasons of the Sicilian section. One was for fellowship. Amen. Two was for birth. Amen. That Adam must bring more spoken word yeah. sons like him. Yeah. Because Amen. remember, Brother Philip, that Adam had the book. Yeah. Adam had the title deed. Yeah. And Adam with the title deed was supposed to look in the book yeah. and say, that brother Alex, you are going to come in the end time. Yeah. And Adam will look in the book and say, Alex, then you jump out of the dust of the earth and speak in the sun. So the reason for the CC section was for birth. Yeah. And the last part for the Sicilian section was for deception. That's right. Yeah. So let me say to you that if the woman in the garden was not a harlot, mm. but she was playing a part yeah. of a harlot, yeah. the woman was a catalyst. Yeah. To the pen of the And after the sea section, the woman was standing there, not knowing who she was. Yeah. The woman had an identity crisis. Yeah. That's when a married woman is called a miss because she is missing. Amen. Amen. Hey. Amen. Come on M-I-S-S, you are missing. Amen. Until now, the man had to look at the woman. And say, you woman, I know who you are. Amen. You are bone of my bone. Amen. You are flesh of my flesh. Amen. You are my glory. Amen. You are my company. Amen. So in fact, Brother Alpha, when God was bringing the woman to the man, God was bringing Adam back to Adam in yeah. right form. Yeah. It was a woman in a different form. Yeah. But it was still Adam. Yeah. That's why when God came in the garden of Eden to say, Adam, Adam, where are thou? He never said, Adam, then he 
and he's well. The ravens came out of the fall. But when you're saying, he said, Adam, Adam. The first Adam was masculine, the second one was feminine. That this is bone of my bone yeah. and flesh of my flesh. Bring it home, bro. Because Adam knew the woman first yeah. in the theophany. Yeah. Let's preach the message. Yeah. He knew, he knew the woman first in the theophany. Right. Because remember that we have got a man of Genesis 1 26, who is a spirit man, a man in his theophany. We have got a man of Genesis 2 7, who is a terrestrial man. The word terra means earth. Yeah. A dust man. So it was the man of Genesis 2 7 who was in a deep sleep. Amen. But not the man of Genesis 1 26. The man of Genesis 1 26 was actually looking at the operation in the field. Yeah. Yeah. Waiting for the operation to finish. That he can, through this man of Genesis 2 7, identify this man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is why, Brother Alpha, you can bury the man of Genesis 2 7 and say ashes to ashes. Yeah. Dust to dust, but you can never say that to the men of Genesis 1 26. That one comes from God and he goes back to God. And in this loop called time, God created his own enemy to bring to pass the attributes that were unlocked in him. That's a paradox. How do you create your own enemy to bring the best? Out of himself. Do you know that somebody must hate you? Somebody must despise you. Somebody must persecute you. So that we can know what is inside of you. That's why if you leave this church and say, No, this brother doesn't love me. You go to another church, God is going to raise somebody that will hate you because you haven't passed the test. Right. So until you pass the test, God will keep on raising those people. Amen. 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 So now he created his own enemy. He created Lucifer. But before he creates Lucifer, God makes a way for you and me. Then what does God do? He writes my name and your name in the Lamb's book of life. So that Lucifer cannot deceive us. So now every evening, in the cool of the evening, notice. God will come in the Garden of Eden yeah. to have fellowship yeah. with Adam and Eve. Amen. And Adam being the deacon or the pastor, mm. he was holding two offices at once. Yeah. Yeah. The deacon, pastor, prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Then he will, pack, he will pack the chairs. Yeah. And Adam and his wife will sit for 30 minutes, quite a time. Yeah. That's why it is important for you to come here at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Because God is here at 10 o'clock yeah. yeah. to meet with you. Yeah. 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 30 minutes before they were seated, and then Adam stood as the song leader. He started singing to the church. Who was this church? His wife. That's right. Amen. Okay. His wife. Come on now. Amen. Amen. And then Adam will say, Now let us call the preacher. <laughs> and the preacher then, God himself, comes down yes. to preach to Adam and Eve. And Brother Benham, in the message, Satan's eating, he puts it very nicely. This is after he preached to them. He took them to bed and Amen. rocked them to sleep. Amen. When you are going to sleep at night, it is not you sleeping. You are not alone. God is rocking you to sleep. Ah. Yeah. That is why that's what he did. And, and this cup, hands that can touch you. There is an unseen hand that can penetrate you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
revelation? Hey! Every one of us is going through something. But on Sunday morning, we kick up. Yes, 
very she looks so neat. And the first Adam turned to lose the way. 
Turned light into darkness, turned life into death. But the second Adam was there to make a reverse form. Until now, Isaiah says to prophesy, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. This was a prophecy gravitating towards the second Adam. Amen. For 712 years, Isaiah prophesied until everyone thought that Isaiah was just a doomed man. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Until one man named only, the angel Gabriel came to him and said, Hey Mary, you are highly favored amongst all women. Thou shalt conceive and have a son, and the Holy Ghost shall overshadow your womb. Amen. And many said, I don't have shoes. Yeah. I don't have a high waist skirt. Oh, I don't have this and the other. And the angel said, I'm not here to bring yeah. temporal things. Yeah. I'm here to bring eternal things. Yeah. Because temporal things will perish. Yeah. Let me refer to you quickly that God only borrowed the womb of Mary. Yeah. Joseph was not even involved. God yeah. divinely, miraculously took an egg and took a sperm, borrowed the womb of Mary to produce himself. Amen. Yeah. So, like the first Adam, when Jesus came here on earth, inside of him, there was a bride. Yeah. Yeah. When the woman with the black issue touched the hem of his garment, and he turned around and said, who touched me? We, me and you as the bride, we were in him. Yeah. Saying, who touched me? Yeah. Like the second Adam, he had to go through a Sicilian yeah. Yeah. He had to go to the cross. For our emancipation, Amen. for our liberty, for our redemption. Then they took our Lord, they coughed at him, they beat at him. The Bible says there was no crown of silver or of gold that they placed upon his head, but they put a crown of thorns. Amen. Amen. He took our sorrow, he took our pain. Amen. But remember, we were right inside of him. Amen. Amen. Then they drove him, Sister Paulina, to Gethsemane. Gethsemane was the labor yeah. room. Amen. Yeah. And the sun is more important than Calvary. Do you Amen. Don't realize? Yes. Yes. Because you cannot have Calvary unless there is a Gethsemane. Yeah. And when the right decision was made at Gethsemane, yeah. me and you, Amen. we were coming in the hallelujah yes. in him. Because we were about to be expressed. Yes. 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 When he carried the cross, mm. Brother Brown says it was a the cross mm. until a black man from Libya by the name of Simon of Sidon, right. helped him carry the cross. Amen. And when he was hanging on the cross, the Roman soldier took a hammer. Because the Roman soldier thought that we are going to perform an autopatric yeah. yeah. And the angel of the Lord came and inspired the Roman soldier and said, yeah. throw your hammer down. Amen. Take a spear because yeah. they are going to perform a Sicilian search. Yeah. Yeah. He took a spear, he put it on the side. Water came out. The blood came out. And what happened with the blood? The blood dropped on the ground. Yeah. Why did the blood drop on the ground? Because it was redeeming Adam's fallen race. Because you and me, we come from the ground. Yeah. Now, when the Holy from the kissed him on the side, the bride is no longer in him. The bride is standing next to him. That's right. Yeah. Like if then we had an identity crisis. We didn't know. Who we are. Yeah. But our identity lies in our husband. The secret to our identity is with the heavenly bridegroom. Because he is the one that created his own bride. He must give us an identity. Then he goes, the prophet of God says, and as he being the groom, the bride came forth. Because it's a part of him. It can only be the manifestation, fulfilling of the revelation. Any other has spoke of the bride. It can only manifest if it does something different from the groom. It isn't the bride. Yeah. Because she is flesh of his flesh. Bone of his bone. Life of his life. Power of his power. So she is him. So if he is the way, she is the way. We are carrying the same DNA as he is. So if God is a healer, who are you? Come on, preach back to me. If he is a healer, then who are you? You are an amateur healer. If he is a deliverer, you are an amateur deliverer. That's why, if you want rain in your form, I give you rain. I can give you your heart's desire. Yeah. Because the brother, putting us very, you know, some, some of this 
statement we take them for granted. Yeah. Um, the fact that the angel behind the pulpit is Amen. greater yes. than the angel Amen. in the Amen. Amen. So whatever mm. that you are looking for this morning, yeah. I give to you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I might not have silver and gold. Yeah. I might not have all the money in the world. But I can give you your finances. Yeah. I can give you your revival. Yeah. I can give you your heart's desire. God made manifest in Christ. Christ made manifest in the bride. And as God took from the body of Adam, the woman, she fell. Then God has took the body of Christ, his flesh, his body, which is his word. And in bringing a bride out, that one fall by denomination. Or creed no said, but she's going to go back with the pure, unadulterated word of God being made manifest. That is right. I hope every man that hears this tape. Amen. Amen. You are the ones that are listening to this table. Yes. And every woman will understand that. Will understand what? She, the second Eve, Amen. but she is not going to brain Amen. and strain her skirt of purity yeah. and holiness to her husband. She will stay with his word, regardless of what anybody says. Yeah. The skirt of the bride will not be defined. By creeds and dogmas, because we know who we are. Who are we? The bride, the, the prophet of God says, the word living in action. The Bible bride, not some man made bride. The Bible bride, smitten and afflicted of God. No beauty we should desire her, but yet we esteem her smitten and afflicted of God. That's why she stands alone. She is smitten from all denominations, according to Revelation 3. She is smitten out of an audition, church 8, that she, is a, she was raised up. This church was raised up in the Laodicean church age. That's a house. Amen. Amen. Not some man made bride, but the Bible bride. Amen. Can in the same way the heavenly bridegroom created his own. That's right. right. Ephesians 5.25 Husbands love your wives even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. 26 That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. Verse 26 and verse 27, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blame, without blemish. Now this bride is washed by the water of the way. That he, the creator of that bride, that bride, that he might present it to himself. Amen. So he creates his own bride. And that's the presentation way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> In the natural, the bridegroom does not do the presentation way. The father does the presentation. Amen. But in this regard, the one, the groom, does the presentation. Amen. He will present himself a glorious church without spot and without wrinkle. And let me say to, to you, church, that in a church, there are a lot of mistakes. Yes. But in a bride, they are not mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. And in closing, let me say, as the bride of this bridegroom, we will worship no one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 One day he had an appointment, Brother Sonny, with the Pope. Yeah. Yeah. Then he asked, How do I approach the Pope? Yeah. And they said to him, you go to him, you bow down and kiss his head and say, Holy Father, all the other presidents went there. That's right. Even the president of our country went. Yeah. He, and when he went there as a president, he was representing a nation. Yeah. But there was another man whose name was Malachi. Amen. When they said to him, when you approach him, you kneel down, you kiss his ring, you bow down, he said, cancel the appointment. That's right. Yeah. But Jesus Christ. Yeah. And let me tell you the church. The man was the first when she was the first one to come to maturity. If he refused to bow down to any man in this message, we will refuse to bow down to any man. Yeah. Yeah. I, am, I am not sure that we shall get a bad I will worship no foreign God. Yeah. I will worship my creator. Yeah. Because he's the 
the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And God bless you this morning. That's what I said. After the way it's preached, let us not go. Let's stay for a while and worship. Oh, my God. 
Wednesday night? Yes. How many are coming on Wednesday night? Yes. 